Hey everybody, welcome back. Um, today is going to be another video featuring the theme of mealybugs. Um, as you can see, this is my Thello cactus. Now this is one of my favourite plants. Um, and I've recently realised that um, it's had some mealybugs. So I've treated it before a few days, a few weeks back. Um, they've come back, which is pretty disappointing. But that's alright, we're going to try and treat them again today. So, it is a Thelocactus lophophile. Um, actually, a cactus I got quite a long time ago. But I think 12, 12 pounds, not much smaller than this now. Um, and it's looking good, except for the mealybugs all over it. So we're going to try and get rid of them today. Um, with apple cider vinegar and soap, dish soap. And if it doesn't work, then I'll make another update video in a few weeks' time. Um, using isopropyl alcohol which I've always used before, but I it's not 100% effective usually. So I, so yeah, let's go on with the video. I also have some suspicions that it has root mealybug as well, which um, is possibly the worst pest that exists, um, for cat, in my opinion, for cacti and succulents. Uh, root mealybugs suck. <laughs> but yeah, let's go on with it. Um, and I've got some got some um, cotton buds here so I've got a solution of um, one part uh, apple cider vinegar to two parts water and a good amount of uh, dish soap as well so I think the first thing we're gonna do is just give it just, just finding all the visible mealybug clusters and uh, just dabbing them off straight away with this first um, and then I'll talk through what we're going to do next. So as you can see here, we have quite a few little bits. It's kind of hard to focus on there, but I'm sure you can see, even if it's blurred. Um, but you can see that, uh, you know, a little bit annoying, but we're going to do this. <laughs> Something smashing in, the, in someone else's garden. But yeah, let's go on with it. So yeah, with the uh, the cotton buds here, we're going to try and just get them off. Just try and um, dab them in the solution here. And just dab them off. Um, I'm sure that isopropyl alcohol is a lot more effective at this. But for now, this is all I have. Um, and until I get some more isopropyl alcohol, let's see if this works. And there's nothing to lose. I haven't really tried this before. Um, so yeah, it's, it'll be interesting. Um, after this, I'm also going to kind of uh, hose off this plant a bit with its uh, unpotted, which I found is actually quite a good technique for getting rid of these bugs. Um, just unpotting it, uh, completely washing all the roots off and hosing it at pretty high pressure uh, seems to do quite well with getting rid of these bugs. And um, with a lot of plants, you're never really going to get fully rid of them, especially in your collection. So I think the best thing to do is just to keep them under control. Um, but yeah, um, this just uh, get on with this. I'll do a bit of a, a speed up. I'll just get this into into focus here. Sorry about that. Um, yeah, we'll do a uh, a fast forward of uh, all of this going. So see you then when it's all done.
so yeah that was taking all of those little mealy bugs off that I could get to um, and just kind of dabbing them if if I couldn't quite get to them so next I'm just going to pretty powerfully hose off the plant to try and get any uh, you know, debris or excess you know maybe material that I couldn't get to in the tiny little gaps that you can see at the bottom of the plant here um, it really is quite difficult to get into those cracks so I'm just going to give that a go after waiting for the, the liquid to kind of soak into the plant for a second. Um, so yeah, before that we're just going to wait a second and then I'll skip to the moment where we can actually, uh, you know, get to the, the hosing and then afterwards we'll have to unpot this plant, get some new soil and really rinse off those roots and possibly with some more of the... Uh, the apple cider vinegar and soap mixture um, as it's worked reasonably well for an Astrophytum Asteria Super Kabuto I had um, which had a pretty uh, mild luckily only uh, you know on top of the plant uh, mealy bug infestation so yeah we'll skip to that and I'll be back then so see you then Hello everyone, that has been some pretty intense hosing I've just done there. Um, and as far as I can see, there are no more mealy bugs, you know, visible. Um, but unfortunately I did see some mealy bugs coming out of the, uh, the root area when I was hosing that. So we know that there were me mealy bugs there. Hopefully they're not there anymore. So we're going to dry this plant up a bit um, and we're going to get it all potted up in some nice mineral mix. Um, which for me tends to actually, the plants tend to prefer it, or at least a very, um, a very minimal, mir a very mineral based mix. Um, for certain plants I do like adding a little bit of organic material, but um, a lot less than I used to. Um, so yeah, let's get this guy potted up, and um, I hope this doesn't happen again anytime soon. But if it does, we'll be back with the isopropyl alcohol. Um, but from the surface, you know, he, he's looking pretty good. Um, so yeah, let's get him pot, pot, pot it up. Um, we'll get all the surface wiped down where he was. And hopefully it's a fresh start for this little guy. Um, and I hadn't actually noticed him flowering very much. He hadn't flowered at all this year, um, which I figured would be down to the mealy bugs. As he normally does multiple times every single year. Um, so hopefully he'll be flowering as normal, laying out his beautiful blooms. Um, and I'm really excited for to watch this guy grow. So hopefully, they're all gone. If they're not, I'm not going to worry too much about it. I'm just going to deal with it. <laughs> so um, you're definitely going to see a lot more content from me. Um, from me now. Now I've got it back in the rhythm. I've got the plants all healthy. It's all good now. Um, so it's going to be a lot more plant content. Which hopefully you guys will enjoy. So um, I'm going to get the sky potted up and then you can have a look. Hi guys, here he is all potted up, um, and he's looking really good, a bit wet, but he'll dry off, it's quite hot at the moment. Um, and hopefully this guy doesn't get any more mealy bugs, he probably will eventually, but um, hopefully for the time being he's all clear from it. So, yeah, I really like him. Hopefully I can see a lot more blooms from him soon, because he really does have beautiful, like, flowers. Um, and you'll be seeing a lot more videos from me now. Now I've got all the cacti under control. Um, <laughs> and I have a lot of cacti, so a lot to show you all. Um, so, see you soon. Have a nice day. Sorry for the shaking now. Um, I do have pretty shaky hands. I usually use a tripod now. But, um, but yeah, have a great day everyone, uh, stay tuned for new videos and see you soon, bye.